Hello, hope all is well. Praying that everybody day has been blessed so far and will continue to be, that everyone has been safe and in good health as always. Well, you all have been kept safe. He woke you up this morning. You was on this video. And so therefore we know that God has done something great. He kept us in the midnight hour, amen. But I woke up with praise on my lips this morning because I just felt something that God have done refreshing for the people of God. And so I was giving him glory because he is great and greatly to be praised for the things that he has already done. Amen. God has kept us in the times when we didn't even want to be kept and that alone deserve praise. His love and loyalty to towards us deserve praise. But I'm telling you all, there is something new in the atmosphere. There is something refreshing in the atmosphere for the people of God. Well, you all, today's topic is you're more anointed than you know. You are more anointed than you know. So you're going to have to start paying attention to yourself, to the things you do, the conversations that you have. God says, start thinking and paying attention because you are way more anointed than you think. But before I get in this word, allow me to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy and your kindness towards us. Thank you, Lord God, for the revival that's happening within our homes, Lord God. Thank you for the fresh wind. Thank you, Lord God, for showing up for us. Thank you for the angels that you have dispatched for each and every one of us, for our children and our families and friends. God, we thank you for keeping us in all of our ways. Heavenly Father, I ask that you remove everything that's in our life that's not like you, Lord God. Remove things that's causing us to stumble, causing us to be sinful and wicked, God. I ask that you remove it in the name of Jesus. Forgive us for everything that we have done, Lord God, the known and unknown in Jesus' name. Father God, I ask that you just take your place in this moment, Lord God. Speak fully through me. Speak to the nations, Lord God, so they can hear what it is that they need to hear from you, Lord God. But Lord God, um, I pray right now that you open up their ears open up their hearts and their minds to you, Lord God, so they can receive you at every moment of their life, Lord God. Walk up and through each and every home and check on the people, Lord God, from the inside out, Lord God, and do something for them that you know they need, Lord God. Heal, deliver, set free, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep your right hand upon us, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, show us the way, Lord God. Show us your way of doing things, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. But Lord God, may this word be refreshing to the people of God. May it restore some people back to you, Lord God, and give them hope, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that's done. You all, the Lord has done something great. He says that you are more anointed than you know. And he dropped that word in my spirit as soon as I woke up this morning after I realized what had happened. And so I'm going to just give you all a backstory of how my day went yesterday. Well, a piece of my day went and how I came to this uh, point to give you all this word. Uh, yesterday, you know, I was finishing up reading in Second uh, Samuel and I read through all of that and I didn't get anything. And I'm like, Lord, usually time you have me writing things down and I'll be taking notes but God was just like no just finish reading the book okay so I finished reading it and then when I got done with it I was like okay well what what is a word that you know you have prepared for the people like what is it something that you have given them he was like don't worry about that he was like you read a proverb in a psalm every day won't you read ahead so I was like okay then I re read the proverb in a psalm for today and so I was reading or whatever, whatever, and then God dropped that word in my spirit then when I was reading. And so yesterday, me and this guy that I grew up with, we was playing phone tag all day yesterday. He had called me through Facebook, and I noticed. I was like, okay. So I called him back. He didn't answer. He called me back. I didn't answer. He called, I mean, it went on. It was just like a tag all the way to like 7 p.m. yesterday. But I finally answered the phone for him. And him and I was talking and uh, something that came up in the conversation was how hard headed he is. He on probation and um, at this one point in his probation, he had got caught smoking marijuana or whatever. And then the probation officer was confronting him about it. He caught the attitude with the probation officer, with the probation officer and was telling them like, look, I'm grown and um I'm going to keep smoking weed. Uh, you either find me a bed for two years in the prison or be quiet talking to me because he ain't going to stop smoking. And so uh, he was just talking crazy. So I had some questions for him. I'm like, why would you say that to your probation officer? Why wouldn't you do what's right? Because breaking the laws and going against the rules is what got you on probation in the first place. And he was just like, you know, um, 
he didn't even obey his mama is what he said. I didn't listen to my mama growing up, so I'm not listening to no strangers. So he got set in his heart and mind that if I didn't give my mom that respect, who did everything for me, who loved me, who brought me into this world, I'm sure not respecting you. I'm doing what I want to do and can't nobody tell me nothing. And so I asked him, I said, the things that your mom tried to tell you, I said, did you find any truth in it? He, he found truth in everything that she said. And so I bust out laughing at him, even though he wasn't funny. He, 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 I bet you he, uh, I know he respect his mom now and, you know, obey now. But at the same time, then he was just saying growing up as a child, he didn't. And so he not going to respect nobody else. He's too haughty. He's too headstrong. And can't nobody tell him nothing. But see, that's why I'm here to tell you all, because at the same time, you are more anointed than you know. It's the things that we do in God that keep us connected and keep us giving a word and keep us, you know, uh, walking in the glory of the Lord. Amen. Because I, I read my Proverbs and my Psalms, and this is the first thing that came. And so in my conversation with him, he had gave me the word for y'all, but I didn't know at the time. It's Proverbs 12, 1. It says, whoever loves instructions, love knowledge, but he who hates correct is stupid. He do not like people correcting them. He don't like people telling them what to do. And so if you're that type of person, you're going to have to start obeying. Do not be so headstrong to where can't nobody tell you nothing at all. And one thing I had to do is change my perspective because I used to be the same way. You know, I used to think my way was the right way all the time and really didn't, didn't nobody know, even though they done been through it more than me, they done were smarter than me and everything. I still felt like my way or no way. But at the same time, you know, I felt like people was criticizing me and tossing me to and fro, but I had to change my perspective in order to, you know, grow and I I found now that everybody that ever told me a piece of advice or gave me some inf information, even a uh, constructive criticism, added something to me. And I increased in the area of my life, increased in knowledge. Amen. And so I'm telling you, if you're that type of person that can't nobody tell you nothing and you feel like they tossing you to and fro and, you know, you feel like if you didn't respect your parents, you ain't respecting nobody else. You ain't listening to what nobody else say. You don't like following rules and regulations. You don't like authority figures. I'm here to tell you, you're going to have to change your perspective in order to grow. You're going to have to grow in knowledge because they ain't doing nothing but adding to you to make you better, amen. They're not telling you what to do, how to do it, and all of that good stuff. Stop looking at it that way. Look at it as they're giving you knowledge to increase you, amen. And I also can read into Proverbs 12, 15. It says, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who he's counsel is wise. So therefore, God don't want you to be a fool. He don't want you being as stupid as a cow. Can't nobody tell you nothing. God said, do not be wise in your own eyes. Take the counsel so that you can gain wisdom, amen, so that you can increase in knowledge. Proverbs 12, 16 says, a fool wrath is known at once, but a prudent man covers shame. You cannot be quick tempered. You cannot continue to have a quick, quick temper, hitting people just because things not going your way, saying what you want to say to people. You cannot. You're going to have to start thinking about what you say before you say it. You runs off at the mouth. You runs off at the mouth. God said you're too anointed for that. You're too anointed to have a quick temper, a quick temper, because God is calling you to a place that you will never, ever, 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 ever have to work for man again. You're going to work for the Lord. Amen. And But he need you to take care of those things. You're going to have to learn how to receive instructions and knowledge and obey authority figures. You're going to have to learn how to follow directions and orders. But at the same time, the or orders and the direction is God leading and guiding you. It's nothing about nobody trying to tell you what to do or feeling they like more power or higher in authority than you know. God said all things work together for your good and you are more anointed than you know. Start thinking about the conversations that you have. Start thinking about the people that you encounter and the things that you do, even in your mistakes. God is using it. God said you are more anointed than you know. And so I wrote this quick note down. It says, make sure you're not using careless words. Only fools just open up their mouth and use careless words. We are to uh, think and use wisdom before we speak. Whereas a wise man restrains his anger. Do not be quick tempered. Don't show nobody that you're mad. Learn how to control your spirit, man. Sit back and chill. Even if you do be angry, you don't have to blurt it out and make nobody know it. You don't haul off and hit nobody. 
You don't say what you want to say to people because you're angry. And it says, um, a wise man restrains his anger and turns it away. The fool consistently loses his temper. We cannot be quick-tempered in Jesus' name. God said you're too anointed for that. You have the anointing to control your spirit, man. You are anointed to do that. But you're going to have to start putting the effort into doing it. You just want to, like, you have no control. You have no control over yourself. But God wants you to have control over yourself. He don't want you being stupid. So don't have such a quick temper. Don't be such a fool that you continue have to fill out applications and work for somebody else when you can work for the Lord. <laughs> this thing is going to come so easy to you. It's already so easy. God said it's easy. You have an anointing. It's easier than you think. You just need to start focusing on the things of God more. Don't worry about partying and drinking right now. Don't worry about no girlfriend or boyfriend right now. Don't worry about the things of the world. God said just focus on me because your thoughts the conversations you have, the things that you do, even in your mess ups, I use. God is using you in every area of your life. God said, just start paying attention on there. But what he's taking you, you're going to have to follow instructions. Don't follow rules and regulations. Don't be so haughty. Don't be so headstrong. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are more anointed than you know. Thus says the Lord. Well, you all, that's all the word that I have for you all today. So I pray you receive this word by faith. Take it back to God to make sure that it was for you. And remember that the Lord loves you and so do I. Grace and peace be multiplied. God bless.